All right, so a couple years ago, I made this video. What? And then I made this video. <laughs> and I found out in the comments that there's definitely some of you out there that can relate to what I was saying. But I recently decided to start selling Beats Online again. But let me tell you why. So right off the bat, I want to tell you, I got a lot of things wrong in that video. I was very turned off by the whole click funnels movement because I bought into that. I bought the mini money course. And I'm not saying that there isn't any value there, but just the whole movement of that, they're like click funnels and having to pay for a click funnel, like a stupid amount of money each month, that turned me off of selling beats completely. In reality, instead of me looking at it from a different angle and saying like, well, how can I take what I'm learning from here and utilize it in my own way, I chose to bury my head in the sand and say, you know what, I'm just gonna focus on building my YouTube channel and also focus on sync licensing. I don't have any regrets there whatsoever, but the reason why I decided to start selling beats online again right now is because I actually enjoy making beats for artists. And for me, I realized right now that I want it to be like part of my music production business. So I kind of have my YouTube channel. I have the music library that I'm currently working with. Okay, so let me tell you what I learned looking back on when I was trying to sell beats online before and also what I plan on doing going forward. So the first thing is I wasn't really selling beats online. Like I was making beats and posting them on BeatStars and YouTube, but I wasn't really doing anything else. And number two, I actually did implement some of the strategies that you hear um, very, very briefly during the time. And one of those things was spending time on Instagram and going and just DMing artists, like looking through the hashtags. Like in the course of one week, I probably maybe spent four hours in total doing this. And that yielded me a lease that actually ended up making me about $200 and got 160,000 streams on Spotify. I found an artist, I liked his music, and I sent him some of my beats. He was saying that he was working with a manager. So instead of him paying me upfront for a lease, we agreed that I would get 20% of the royalties from the track when it gets playlisted. Now I had no idea that it was gonna get over 160,000 streams. Considering that I really only tried to do that method for like four hours is, is just funny because what if I kept doing that, you know? And now you're probably wondering, what are you gonna do different this time? Number one for me is to upload consistently both the BeatStars and YouTube. I'm not trying to spread myself too thin because I have other things that I work on. So I'm gonna to commit to three beats a week that I'm gonna be uploading. For me, that's gonna be my main source of traffic is just trying to gain views on YouTube by posting consistently. The second thing that I'm gonna do is utilize the email function. So right now I have about 23 emails that have been collected over the past two, three years. So I don't know how, how many of those are still relevant, but I know at least since I resubscribed to BeatStars again, I've already got four new emails added to my list. Number three, I'm gonna utilize the albums on BeatStars because I didn't even know that that was an option. So if you're somebody like me and you have like a bunch of different styles of beats on your beat store, I'll have some hard piano beats. I'll have some more moody piano beats. I'll have some West Coast beats and then I'll have like super duper catchy guitar beats. So the albums are actually a good way, number one, for you to put those beats together in a playlist, and number two, to offer them at a, at a discounted price. And the third thing that I'm gonna utilize is TikTok. I know you probably hear this is probably being crammed down your throat every single day, but I'm not kidding you, it is the best organic reach possible right now. And if you want to check out consistency, just look at my guy, El Marquis. I really like what he's doing. He's, he's committed to the style of video that he's doing and he's utilizing the duet function on TikTok. Like the dude had Sway Lee duet one of his beats on TikTok. That's crazy exposure and you just can't get that anywhere else. Like all in all, I'm just, I'm seeing the whole thing completely different this time around. And if you're somebody who's just looking to get into selling beats, or maybe you're hearing what I'm saying and you quit before, but you want to jump back into it, make sure to click the link in the description. You can get uh, one free month at the pro page. And if there's any other ideas that are working for you guys that I'm not thinking about implementing, let me know. And make sure to check out this video I did last year right here, where I made a crazy West Coast Tiger style beat and had too much fun doing it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.